Hi, welcome back to my fourth vlog. It's Sara here. So today I'm going to be talking about some things that were essential for me in the COVID-19 pandemic and some things that weren't so essential. So my first essential would definitely have to be my bed. I spent a lot of time in my bed during the pandemic, um, especially the lockdowns. My next essential would have to be my laptop because I use that to do all my schoolwork and I watched a lot of TV and a lot of movies on that thing. My next essential would definitely have to be my dog. I would not have survived last year, the lockdowns, without her. Um, you know, whenever I was sad, I could just cuddle up to her. My fourth and final essential would definitely have to be my phone because you know what person my age doesn't think their phone is essential. It's how I contact my friends. It's how I see news, what's going on in the world. And I only really had one thing that was not essential to me during the COVID-19 pandemic. And that was the outside world. <laughs> I'm going to be honest here, I did not venture outside pretty much at all during the lockdowns and the pandemic. It just wasn't necessary to me. Speaking of the COVID-19 pandemic, there is no doubt it affected everyone in different ways. As students, we were affected by the pandemic in terms of how it affected our learning. So I conducted some interviews and let's see what some students have to say about how the pandemic affected their learning. Hi, I'm Sarah and today I'm here with Maria and Lauren. They're both first years um, doing media and communications. And today I'll be talking to them about learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. In your experience, do you prefer learning online or in person? I definitely prefer learning in person as it's just so much more interactive. I definitely prefer studying on campus because it gets me out of the house and it helps break up my day a little bit. During online learning, did you miss the social aspect of in-person learning? Yeah, absolutely. I found it so isolating and boring being online compared to in person. It's just so much more collaborative. Um, I definitely miss the social aspect because I feel like when you're online, you can't really meet new people or anything. So yeah, I definitely enjoy being on campus. Do you feel more engaged during in-person or online learning? Definitely feel more engaged in person because, not gonna lie, who didn't do some classes in bed? Um, I definitely feel more engaged in person because it's easier to share ideas with each other, um, easier than in a breakout room. During the conduction of these interviews and the creation of my little essential, non-essential segment, I learnt a lot about documentaries. I learnt sometimes those you feature in the documentaries do not want to participate in the way you required and you kind of have to work around that. I've also learnt that documentaries require a lot of research and planning before you start filming. You can't just choose to film random things, everything you film needs to have a purpose and I fully realise that even further by filming my own mini documentaries. And to finish up, I will comment on this week's reading. The craftsman mindset implies you put a lot of work into whatever you're doing, regardless of how passionate you are about it. And I could start using this now by putting more effort into my vlog 